Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch one of our quick help videos. Prior to watching this video, it is very important that you watch the Import Utilities Overview video first. As mentioned in the overview video, it is very important to make a backup of the database prior to performing any imports of data. Please refer to the video on performing a CA4K backup. In this video, we will be providing detailed information on the Card Access Data Pump Import Utility. This utility is a real-time utility and is executed via the Card Access Data Pump service. If the Data Pump import fails to function, you must verify the Card Access Data Pump service is running and set to automatic. Next, displaying on the screen are a few common data types. The most common data type is a Boolean type. This is either a 0 or a 1, and can, can also be true or false. Next is a sample of a date-time field. Next, we will review the template for the Card Access Data Pump service. The template can be found under the Card Access 4K folder in the Help folder. The name of the template is AutoBadge Import Template .txt. Next, the template is the line on the top. The template contains 26 fields. Also included with the template is a few sample records to import. Next, the field delimiter in the import file must be a vertical pipe sign. The vertical pipe sign can be found above the backslash key on a keyboard. Very important! Unlike the other import utilities, all 26 fields must be specified in the data pump import data file. If you do not specify data for a field, a pipe sign must be placed as a placeholder. Consecutive pipe signs must not contain spaces between them. Again, consecutive pipe signs must not contain any spaces between them. Next, let's discuss the first four fields. The first four fields are required fields. The first four fields are the badge number, facility, last name, and first name. The next important note is regarding the last field in the record. The last field in the record must not end with a pipe sign. At the end of the record, you must press the Enter key. If you view the template, you will notice that the last field is the department field. Very important! If you specify a department, it must be pre-configured in the CA4K or else you will get an error. Again, you must predefine departments in the CA4K if you are importing a department name. Next are a few examples of import files and their syntax. Reminder. The import data file must not contain any field headings or undesirable characters. The first line in the file must be the first record to import. Next on the screen is an example of an error log. This error log was generated when an import file containing only the badge number and facility code was imported. The error message displays that the first name and last name is required. Next is an example of specifying only one record with the first four fields populated and the remaining fields noted with consecutive pipe signs. Again, there must not be spaces in between the consecutive pipe signs. Upon executing this import, the log file on the screen will display. Take note that there are no errors. Next is an example of importing two completely populated records. Take note that there is not a pipe sign at the end of the records. Again, you must press the Enter key at the end of the record. Upon executing this import, the log file on the screen will display. Another very important note is regarding the access groups. Access groups must be predefined, and the number of the access group is the number placed in the file. For this demonstration, the CA4K has 16 access groups predefined. Another important note regarding access groups is you must configure the access groups from Access Group 1 on up. Do not skip access groups. Next, we will perform a demonstration of an import. Reminder 
Prior to importing a file with many records, it is always recommended to create a small test file to import. Next, launch the CA4K software. Log into the CA4K software. Upon creating a sample import file, you must copy it to the Card Access 4K import folder. Once the file is dropped in the import folder, it will be imported automatically and then disappear in approximately two seconds. Next, after the import is complete, always view the log file for any errors. Verify it displays imported successfully. There is also a process folder that will keep a copy of the imported data file. Next, always launch personnel and verify the badge record was added properly. View badge number 3110, James Taylor. Take note of the first and last name, facility, activation and expiration, date, time, and the access group settings. One additional note is the enabled checkbox. It is not selected because we had an F for false in the import file for enabled. This concludes this quick help video on the data pump import utility in the CA4K software. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.